In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a stair on a complex surface, a very quick version of a stair. Um, so I just have this basic surface that has this kind of curvature to it, and I want to put a stair in right here. So there are a lot of ways to do this, but the first way I'm going to show you is just to use your section tool. So if you go to Create tab, um, into the Lines or Shape menu, and then Section, you can draw a little section plane and this will cut a section across anything that's currently in uh, unhidden in your scene. So you want to make sure the only thing that's unhidden or visible in your scene is the object you want to build the stair on if possible. So anyway, first thing I'll do is move this down to the base down here. So I want to turn my snaps on, make sure I have my pivot snap on. Um, so that pivot snap will allow me to snap this uh, section plane to a vertex at the bottom. I'm then going to use my array tool. So I'm going to go to Tools, Array, um, and I'm just going to array this vertically, let's say 8 inches for this example. Um, so I'll type in 8 in the Z for the Move, hit Preview, and that will create a section every 8 inches. So you can change the number depending on how many stairs you want or you know what the top stair is going to be. Then you say OK. And then if you select one of these section planes and go to the Modify tab, you can hit this little button that says Create Shape. Say OK. And then you can delete that section plane. So I'm just going to do that for each of these. So I'm going to say Create Shape, OK, Delete. Create Shape, OK, Delete. I'll just keep doing that for each one of these. And these will make a line that's directly aligned with the surface that it's cutting through. It's also a useful tool for creating like very quick um, section cuts. Okay, and now I've created all my shapes. I'm going to go ahead and right click and hide that selection. So those are the different lines that I'm going to start to make the treads and risers. Um, first thing I want to do is attach all of these into one line network. So I'm going to say attach multiple. It'll bring up a list of all the lines in the scene attach them and now they're all within one line network so I can go to the modify tab edit spline select spline and delete all of these other ones that I don't want to use so I just want to use kind of the ends of these lines to create the treads and risers so now I'm going to go to top view oops top view and I'm going to draw a line just on the edge here Oops. And then we're going to take this line and we're going to quickly offset it so we get the thick, the width of the stair. Um, and I'll, let's say, I'll outline this thing. I'll just kind of do it visually for now. So let's say I want to make my stair about that big. Um, I then want to attach this line to the other line so they're all within one network. Oops. Attach, attach this. And then we can delete these end segments here because these aren't, uh, we won't be using those. And then you notice this one's a little short, so I'll actually want to extend this line. So I'm going to select Spline Subobject and then go down to my Extend, hit Extend, and then go ahead and extend that so it intersects with this line. And then we're going to go ahead and trim all these lines. So trim them all back to that. And these are really rough stairs, but they're at least a quick uh, first kind of pass at them. You can always clean them up later. I'll also trim that little in there. And then all these extra little pieces um, down at the end, you can just select those, deselect trim, select all these, and delete those. So these are kind of like the stair. Let's go to perspective view. Um, that's the basic framework for the stair I'm going to create. OK, so now that I've made these, I don't actually need these lines anymore. So I can delete those. And I want to make sure the, these yellow points are all lined up on the same, uh, at the same edge here. So right now you can see they kind of flip back and forth. So I'm going to go to vertex subobject level and just make sure that these are all the first points over here. So the yellow point is the first point. So I'm going to select all the first points here uh, and just say make first. You can do more than one at any one time. Okay, so now all the first points are along this edge. It doesn't matter how many lines we have. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, select each of these one at a time, go to the spline subobject level, select each of these, hold down shift and drag on your Z arrow, and then snap so it's even with that um, second line there. So I'll do that with each of those. Hold down shift, snap, 
and you have to make sure that your snaps are on but also make sure under options that you have access constraints on that will allow you to drag um, on this uh, Z arm and snap only in the Z direction Okay, almost done. Okay, so those give me my risers there. Um, and then I have my treads. So, you know, these are pretty rough. So if I really wanted to clean these up, I'd probably go in and I would like delete and only have maybe, uh, you know, three points. Or you could actually, you know, maybe even delete all of those and just have the one straight line. But let's just see what this gives us for now. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. It'll be a little bit cleaner. So I'll go ahead and delete these vertices. I probably could have done this before I copied them, but it's okay. This will just make the, the treads just a little bit cleaner. Otherwise, they'll be a little jagged. Oops. And if you're really careful, you might want to zoom in on some of these ends because I have a feeling yeah, that has two points there. So you just want to zoom in and make sure that you don't have two points that are too close together. That could cause a problem. All right. Okay, almost done. So now that I've cleaned up these lines, I have my risers and my treads. So all I have to do is go over to my spline subobject and then look for the cross section button within the, the line object tool. So if you select cross section, you can then start selecting these in order. You can see it's starting to build a line network that will define that stair. Right. Okay, so then the next thing you want to do is add a surface to this line network. And there you have a stair. And so you, probably on the surface you want to make sure the steps are zero. I'll right click unhide all. So there's a stair now on the surface of that curved surface. Let's go ahead and change the color so you can see it a little better.